Hello and welcome back to Team Winger 5. Today we're going to load the Raspberry Pi with the Windows 10 Internet of Things core. And the way we do this is we go to the Microsoft website, I'll put a link in the description below, and this page tells you exactly what you need. Now you can run this on a couple of devices, we're going to be running this on the Raspberry Pi 2. The easiest way for you guys to do this is to download the IoT Core dashboard on the right hand side of your screen right here. You can download it via the image on the left hand side, however the IoT dashboard is much easier as you have the GUI interface and you can just load it up. Now there's some other downloads towards the bottom of the page right here, where you can download the Visual Studio, Windows Driver Kit. These are just some more tools to help you develop your applications you're deploying your Raspberry Pi 2, your Dragon Board or your Minnow Board. It's completely up to you what device you use, Windows 10 IoT will work with all of these. So once you move on to installing the dashboard, you'll see this window pop up where you can press install and that will start a download of the Windows IoT Core dashboard. Once the download is complete, this is what the page you'll see. Discovering the Internet of Things, you can set up a brand new device. So that's the time where you need to go to your card reader and put the micro SD card from your Raspberry Pi 2 into the reader. So let's work on setting up a brand new device. I'm going to select the Raspberry Pi 2 and it gives me the option of Windows 10 IoT Core for Raspberry Pi 2 and select the drive. So make sure you select the right drive. I've got an 8 gig SD card going into it. Accept the software license terms and press download and install. Be aware that this will erase all data on the SD card so make sure you backed up any data you have on there and it will load the image directly onto it once you get this message. So you press continue and this will load up a command prompt looking window this is very helpfully loading on your image directly to your SD card so you don't have to worry about it yourself. And it'll work the same with the Raspberry Pi 2, the Minnow board or any other device that you're going to be using Windows 10 IoT with. Once it's complete you'll see this window telling you that your SD card is ready so we can travel to it with Windows Explorer and see what's on there. So now is the time we need to plug the micro SD card directly into your device. Again in my case it's the Raspberry Pi 2. And if you have it plugged in, this is what you see on screen. Take note of the IP address, because we'll need to use that later on today. Once we go back to the dashboard, your device will automatically show up, and you'll need to change the default password. So the default login is shown on screen at the moment, administrator and password with an at sign and a zero. Change this before you do anything else, so no one else can have access to your Raspberry Pi. We're now going to travel to the IP address that was shown on screen and log in with the details we've just changed or if you haven't done that yet make sure you change it as soon as you log in and we can now name the device and go through any features through the web browser. So in the top right we can see shut down, restart, feedback to Microsoft and even a help dialog and it shows you the time and date. But on the left hand side we have a whole menu showing performance, devices plugged in, performance tracing, Bluetooth, audio, networking, even Windows Update. The web browser has even more settings than the dashboard, so this is the best place to manage from. However, you can still load apps from the dashboard, which I'll show you how to do in just a second. But what sort of apps could we run on here? Well, actually, if we travel to this address, microsoft.hackster.io, we can see lots of apps that people have already built, and simply download these and load them onto our Raspberry Pi. The dashboard even comes with a couple of samples, which I'll show you just in a second but all of these apps can be downloaded and loaded onto your Windows 10 IoT device. So let's load one of the sample apps on. If we go down to the bottom on the left here, we have Try Some Samples. And this one, very simple, Hello Blinky, it allows you to toggle the LED on and off and presents you with a web browser where you can do that. So we choose the app, we choose the device, we simply press Deploy and Run. This will start the dashboard deploying the app directly down to the Pi through the network. And from there, we're presented with this window. The app, as you'd expect, is quite basic. You press start to make the LED start, you press stop to make it stop, and the slider along the bottom changes the frequency of the LED flashing. But that's our first app. We've deployed it to the Raspberry Pi from another computer, and we're now controlling the Raspberry Pi from this other computer. So the app's very basic, but that's the concept. I hope you build your own. Let me know what you want to build in the comments, and thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. 